come into the society, the reason I believe that I've been invited here is because of my contribution to the limbal stem cell work. It didn't start with the intention probably with how you people, everyone here is. We have amidst us uh, some maybe I guess physicians, scientists and uh, industry players and uh, administrators with rich experience. So it's a, it's a very beautiful combination and that's, that's exactly what is required to take stem cell research forward. Just like the human body, it's the most complex and the most perfect machine. If you ask any engineer, can he simulate any part of the body perfectly? None of us can. Our admiration for the functionings of the body is still amazing. You are just in awe of how each part and each of us looks at one particular tissue. Still the whole lifetime is not enough to look at one structure of the body. So the more I learn about the body, about the biology, how to replace, the more humbling it is how much we don't know. And that I guess is experience of everyone. We started with limbal stem cell work, not knowing that it's going to create history. It just started as a pilot study and one of my colleagues, Shashi Singh is here, it just started with uh, over a cup of coffee with my colleague, a surgeon, who said, you know, you've been doing retinoblastoma, that, that's when the, the, his response was to my description of the stem successful cultures of retinoblastoma. He says, when you can grow retinoblastoma cells, why don't we do the work that we've been uh, discussing in the journal club about limbal stem cell work. We heard about limbal stem cell work, we discussed it in theory, but we don't know what next to do. And that's Virenda who told me, why don't you start it? I said, okay, let's, how do we start it? Then one person knows the, how to do the cultures, one person knows what to do, how to do, one person knows how to, how to use it. And that's the team we started with. We started with a pilot study, DBT was the, I think the DBT was uh, mine, our project and uh, Dr. Uh, Shamla Manis. These were the two projects supported by DBT in uh, 2000 nearly 12 years ago it started. We didn't know what to ask for and later we, they said, oh you got this much money? I said, whom do I blame because I didn't know how much to ask for. We started with a pilot study of 20 patients. After two years I said, okay, you know, we have to wait for these 20 cases to follow up for five years and that's when the, our chairman, Dr. G. N. Rao said, okay, let's meet. Then he says, why are you hesitating to go forward for more cases? I said, but we applied only for 20 cases. He said, with the success, you know, there was no randomized clinical trial for intraocular lenses. That's the example he always gives us. Make it an extended clinical trial. And today, we've done more than 800 patients of cure of treating ocular surface uh, disease through cell therapy. This is one example. And within the cornea, we think we have created a cornea. No, we just created the corneal epithelium. And cornea is a, a small structure with epithelium, stroma and endothelium. So what, what I mean is whatever we do, it's just a drop in the ocean of stem cell research and translation research.